Hey guys, Ileana here. It has been a while and a lot has happened and every time I come back I say something like that. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. I think I, last I did say I was starting back at Starbucks and I have started back at Starbucks. It has been over three weeks since I was at Starbucks and um, oh my gosh, basically... I mean, title of this video, I'm just gonna put it out there. And this is just me explaining about what happened. It's like 2 a.m. right now. Sleep is always all over the place. And my train of thought has really been all over the place, which is a bit of a problem, but I've been dealing with it. And, um, pretty much, what the heck is today? Today's like the 10th or something. Technically, today is the 11th since it's 2 a.m. So, June 11th, 2021, Friday. So, let's say a little over a week ago now. Did this happen on a Thursday? Did this happen last Thursday, I believe? Um, I was not feeling good. I went to work. Well, I was feeling off. It was just an off day. Like, we have off days. And I was like, whatever. I have a four-hour shift at Starbucks. I can go to work. And I go into work. And two hours into it, I just went downhill and I was just like, maybe I can uh, take my 10 minute break. Maybe all I need to do is sit down and drink some water. No. So I tell the ship supervisor, I'm just like, I need to go home. I mean, this is, I'm just telling you what I can remember. So I was like, I just need to go home. So they're like, yeah, cool, go home, no problem. And um, husband picks me up and supposedly by the time we get home, 30 minutes into it, I had a seizure and I don't remember a lot from that weekend. I have short-term memory loss and all I really remember from that moment, everything's really choppy, but when we were still at the apartment, I was trying to tell my husband, I'm fine, it's going to be okay. And apparently that's not at all what I was saying and he called 911 they came and picked me up we all went to the hospital I have some pictures I have some pictures that I took that I don't remember you know recording everything. I'm like, this is a great opportunity to record what's happening, right? I mean, I just look tired, honestly. I've taken pictures like that before where I just look really tired and I look crazy. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. It's just really choppy. And how am I doing now? So, so I was put on a medication to hopefully hold back any future potential seizures that I could be having, which I haven't had another one, but I have clearly had signs of, yeah, I would be having them. And um, I went to go see my neurologist for the first time. This was last weekend. Let's say Saturday, no, no, Saturday. I don't know what day, guys. I went and I was really tired. I don't know what day everything was, but I went to go see my neurologist for the first time. And telling them things that I felt <sighs> and when I was working at the grocery store I think I 
mentioned this in a past video about me having a panic attack, an anxiety attack, um, which that very much could have been the case, but it would have led into what they said most likely was actually me having a minor seizure both of those times when I was working at the grocery store and it wasn't addressed because I didn't think that was happening. That's not cool. Um, but yeah. Um, so pretty much what's happening now, I just feel really tired. Like this come and, this comes and goes like a numb sensation right here on my eye, like literally like this, and it comes and goes. And the last two days I have been a lot better compared to what I had been, which isn't saying much, honestly. And then um, when I was really bad, I was having this really horrible metallic taste in my mouth, which was so disgusting. Um, yeah so right now I don't know if it's due to whatever is happening to my system or if it's because of the medication that I'm on I don't know my mom said who my mom was a previous nurse um, she was like 10 years ICU nurse um, I kind of take what she says into consideration. Um, she said that technically the medicine that I'm on shouldn't be the cause of that. Is it? Isn't it? I don't know. We're going to talk to the doctor because I'm going to see the doctor again on Monday and um, I'm going to get my brain scan and I'm going to do something else. I should probably ask my mom what's happening because... We got something else scheduled. I don't even know what it is. I'm just going to it. I'm like, cool. Scheduled. Thanks. I'll be there. Don't know what it's for. But, um, gonna get my brain scanned. See what's going on up here. And, um, yeah, my appetite is just really gone. And I've been making myself eat. And I know I haven't been eating enough. But I ate a decent dinner, and that's cool. Just this past day, past night, past evening, it's 2 a.m. I ate like around 6 p.m., 7 p.m. is when I ate. Um, so I, eat a, I ate a decent dinner at that point, so that was really good. So I'm really, really hoping my appetite is coming back because I've really been forcing myself to eat is really hard and just drinking a ton of water so basically like I don't have energy I've been really weak I'm really tired on top of my sleep schedule being completely thrown off and my sleeping being very weird um again I think this really is due to the medication doing something up here because I will literally close my eyes like, it's like a sensation of closing my eyes and opening my eyes back up. And all of a sudden, it's like I actually did sleep for five hours. And it doesn't feel like it. Like, it literally feels like I, like, blinked. And apparently, I slept for five hours. And it doesn't feel like it. So, my energy is really off. I'm really tired. I'm probably not getting enough nutrients inside this whole entire time. Like, I've lost like six pounds which isn't cool um I've I'm sure I've talked in the past about how like I've tried really hard to gain weight um which I had since successfully gained weight over the past how many years which is cool I got to like 110 pounds which is great for me I'm 5'1 <laughs> if you haven't watched any of those long ago videos with my other health problems eh. um me being 110 pounds <laughs> really cool but I lost six pounds not cool so it would be really great if I could um start eating better because that's good for you get your nutrients in guys so um yeah a lot's happening so I am on a four days off 
from work. I don't really consider that a vacation, but you know, it's summertime and um, we're going out of town and I'm just trying to chill and trying to enjoy myself the best that I can, even though in the back of my head, I'm not having a good time, but trying to get things settled, do as much as we can. So basically later on today, um, we are going to drive out to where we're going and then spend the night next day we're doing stuff the next day um, we're going to drive back and then probably be back sometime in the evening time it's what we're planning on doing so um, yeah it's gonna be fun we've gone we've done this before and um, we didn't do it last year because COVID was super big so we're just we're all vaccinated um, if you've been watching my channel, if you go check back at old videos, um, you'd see that, uh, I had to deal with COVID, which maybe COVID has something to do with this. I don't know. I'm not COVID positive currently. Um, but I don't know. My family has health problems to begin with. So was it just bound to happen that this was going to start? was my stress way too high, which my stress was way too high. So maybe it was way too high and it started this. Maybe me having COVID started this. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, we're trying to figure out how severe this is. And for as bad as my seizure was, cause it was a serious seizure. Um, um, they said that, uh, it was a good one, a good safe one. So I didn't bite my tongue. I didn't uh, bite anything off. Um, um, I was breathing. Uh, so it just really kicked my butt and I don't want that to happen. So it's all about like making sure I get on the correct medications. So again, I'm going to go in for a brain scan. We can see what's going on up there. I guess that's going to determine determine something I don't know they're gonna tell me and then I'm really hoping that we can get me on a much better plan that isn't just me um, the medication that I'm on right now is just holding off seizures that I'm clearly still having signs of happening so um, it's not cool I'm bummed but what are you gonna do about it such as life. Um, yeah, it's all about just like, you know, I let my manager know what happened and um, just things that I need done for myself and um, try and do the best I can to stay positive. And um, me talking about it, like me, I'm, I've probably told this to plenty of people already, um, but the more I talk about it the better it makes me feel and I always tell people like if something is bothering you it's good to sometimes talk it out, talk it out to people um get it out of your system because um yeah the other day I was going through the events of there's that thing with your feelings where you go through all the emotions where it's just like no you're fine like nothing's happening and then like like you get really depressed and then you get like really angry and then you like I don't know I don't know so I've definitely been going through all of that it's um you know like why is this happening to me whatever I've talked it out to a lot of different people and it just makes me feel better makes me feel better um but yeah, so it's just something to put out there. And um, um, yeah, as some, pe some people that I talk to, you know, they like my friends and such and such. Um, they're just like, uh, you know, asking me questions about it. And they're just like, am I, am I able to ask you these questions? Like, are you comfortable? And I'm like, no, 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 it's all cool. It's cool. It's like, it's making me feel better to talk about it. So if you guys have any questions, you can ask questions and it just, it really is helping me get it out of my system. So, um, that's why I make YouTube videos. I think I've said that forever in the past too, that like 
get it out of your system and make you feel better. Um, yeah, so the other thing that's been driving me nuts is like, I don't know, paranoia, anxiety, like, again, clearly something is happening on this side of my head and me being at Starbucks, I'm like being retrained and I'm going to be a shift supervisor, so I'm being retrained for shift supervisor stuff and I had to do like math word problems and it's something that should totally be easy and it was not going in like and it wasn't even like I'm not understanding no it's like my brain like something in my brain like I could feel it like something in my brain was stuck like I'm just like like I understood half of the word problem and I'm just like okay I got this far <laughs> like I was talking to the shift supervisor and like she just casually came over you know just like oh how are you doing you know you're doing good on the computer over here and I was just like oh my god like they have these math word problems and on top of me sucking at math to begin with like my brain is not working so she was going through it with me and I'm just like yeah sure whatever you say I understood the concept I understood the concept they're just like if you have this much and this much and this much how much you should you order how much should you be ordering I understand the concept I've ordered stuff with my other grocery store job that I just had um that that didn't really make me feel good that my brain my brain this this was just like pulsating it's just like nope stop 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 mm. so I don't know what's happening with that but uh we shall see and I just gotta chill guys I just gotta chill so like I said today's Friday so we should be back Saturday evening that's what we're planning so that's cool We'll be back Saturday evening. I'll still have Sunday off. And then Monday, I have my two doctor's appointments. So that's my plan. I am going to record another Doc Martens video. Guys, I haven't done a Doc Martens video in a while. I love Doc Martens and I really love these shoes that I just recently got. So stay tuned for a Doc Martens shoe unboxing. I love shoe unboxings and I got a new pair of Doc Martens because I'm working at Starbucks and those shoes are so good. The non-slip like them floors are so bad for you. Like don't mess up your knees. Don't fall on your butt. Love Doc Martens. All my Doc Martens videos, I'm pretty sure I mention that every single time I get those shoes when I'm working my barista job. So I got me a new pair and I love them and I'm going to make a video and talk all about it. So that video is going to be more fun than this one. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a good time, a good day. Hope you guys are chilling. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have some mental relaxation because your brain needs to rest. And um, subscribe and stay tuned for next time, guys. Bye.